Welcome to this room where we learn science. Come and sit down and listen so we can learn. Please, you say, hey, who is this guy who thinks he's Bill Nye? Well, this guy so fly is going to show a little science that'll make your brains fly. Cells are the smallest thing alive. That's where we'll start through the building blocks of life. Right at the heart, put together, you end up with tissue, and that's nothing to sneeze at. In fact, put tissue together, and you get an organ. Organs, they build organ systems, and those come together to build organisms. All organisms can be classified. We'll start with the broadest and get more specific. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. I said kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. These building blocks have parts of their own. We call each part a different organelle. Put together, they make the cell gel and work so well it rings like a bell. The control center nucleus is called the boss. The cell membrane makes sure there's no loss. It's semi-permeable, letting things in and out. Mitochondria breaks food down, of that there's no doubt. The gel-like stuff called cytoplasm is in all cells. This is not random. The vacuole implants is large and an animal small. The chloroplast are not in all. The plants only have that fun making their food from out of the sun plant cell wall keeps them on the ball not letting them fall all the body systems work like the all-star team making your functions as smooth as a dream the nervous system tells everybody what to do tells digestive on the inside that it better break down food circulation is the heart of the beat 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 moving blood and oxygen to your fleet of muscles that have their own system and work together with the skeleton to hold up your body. Somebody had better hold their breath because respiratory's on the scene keeping us from certain death. Making bodies healthier is harder than it looks. So listen about some guys who had their nose in books and helped to make this world much better. So let's start our trip with Alexander Fleming, the man with penicillin, who discovered back could be a villain. He stopped infections with some mold, stopping brave soldiers from growing cold. Another man, Pasteur, is the name of fame. He stopped food abomination through his own pasteurization. You that's listening, can you walk? You might need to find and thank a guy named Saul. He put together the best polio vaccine. You think these guys are average? They're way above the mean. Now, things they must continue and pass on DNA. If it just has one parent, then asexual, we must say. Splitting like cells or else budding just like plant. Propagation is the thing that where you might be cut in half. But if two parents you will need, call it sexual. Because DNA is not identical. Living things adapt so they can survive. It's the strongest that live in the circle of life. Sometimes they're behavioral. Some get scared and run away. And sometimes just physical because their sharp teeth aren't there just for play. If you're an eater, we say consumer. If you make food... Then we say producer, if you decay dead things, you're not left out. No, you're not a poser, you're just a decomposer. If I hunt you, then you're the prey, but if you hunt me, then I would say you are the predator and I should run away. Now you know how it goes. Review this stuff and it will pay. We are hoping for all straight A's.